with Frederick Smith. Um, I am the director of nephrology service at Doctors Hospital. And my interest is nephrology. Well, I'm an internist as well as a nephrologist. I did transplant nephrology. And I love talking to people and educating them. So my part in the process, that's a very interesting thing because you know it's even more special for me than it is for you seeing that this is a classmate of mine from high school. So I, I think it's just a miracle. We are people that have been on dialysis for a lifetime, basically. They're diagnosed with end-stage renal disease or needing dialysis, and they stay on dialysis the entire time. But what I like to say to patients is dialysis is a bridge to transplant. If you start on dialysis, what we really should be doing is trying to figure out how to get that end organ, i.e. get a graft put in so that that life-sustaining modality can change a little bit and life can be better. Ms. Rule was a go-getter for herself. And I know th people think I'm probably being a little sarcastic when I say that, but it is the truth. We know that the real hero then lies in with the patient and the patient's family because that's a support network. There are tons of things that we ask them to do. Some of them involve financial resource. Some of them involve family members giving of their time to make sure that patients get done what they need to do. And some of it really depends on the patient. So what it took was the patient being an advocate for herself. When we said you needed to get this test done, she got the test done. When we said you needed to go and do this in terms of change of your diet, look at it, fabulous. She did what she needed to do into changes of her diet. She changed trying to get all of the bananas and all of those things that are full of potassium. And she learned what a low potassium diet was. She learned that even when her access was not working, that you had to restrict those things. And she did the right things in that regard. She presented for testing when we asked her to come in for testing. She went and she looked for a donor. This is one that I would say did the things that, again, we asked her to. And so what we need to do is we get family involved and family, friends, community. You remember they talk about the, the hero that we had the other day in the honor walk in the hospital yes. with the guy that was the, the organ donor? Yes. Nine organs. Yes. And so that one person and I make this appeal to everybody in our community, one person could be the life-saving for many people. Yes. What you say, Pastor? <laughs> well, I would say to everyone, save a life. And by saving a life, that life you save will and can be your own. At the same time in doing that, make sure look looking for the person next to you because the person next to you can and will be one of your family members. You can sign up to be an organ donor at www.doctorshosp.com slash become an organ donor. <laughs>